Hey everybody, welcome back to Prigion Architect. I don't know why I wanted to pronounce that like it was the breed of a French dog. But in any case, here we are. I'm, I'm very confused as to why this job just never gets completed. Let's, before things spiral out of control, do it. Do it. We only have two jobs. They don't seem to actually get done though. Is like, is, is, do we have a workman trapped in a wall somewhere? Is that what's happening? I can do this, uh, like, we only need one freaking pipe to be installed. Uncue these jobs, and then just, like, install pipe here. There's already a pipe here just installed, it's so easy. Alright, let's hope this actually gets done now. Do we have workmen that are being busy bees? Uh, oh, they're bringing the box down. I think one pipe has been installed. Job in progress. Oh my god. Yeah, I'll open the door for you, buddy. We did it! Okay, that's remarkable. Now, what did we have to do on this, uh, on this episode? Well, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to raise our capacity. Shit, we're gonna have to actually, like, buy more land soon if we're gonna expand our, uh, prisoner capacity. But we also wanted to build a workshop. So let's use our planning tool here. Just to be, uh, smart. This is not an appropriate workshop area. So our workshop should be like, um... It should be big. So I think if we put walls like this... One second. This is gonna be a hallway. But it should be like long as well. So I think this is actually a pretty appropriate workshop here. And then we have the added benefit of being able to like fence this area off. And this could make a... Delicious exports region, I think. And we can put like a staff door here. I think that would be very, very smart. And then we could also have, uh, we should have a bigger storage room. So this could be our workshop. And then, um, we could have, uh, if we go to planning here, we could have a storage room like this. Maybe like that. I don't know if. But what would we put here? That's the real question. Might as well have it set up like that, I guess. If we were going to do it like this. I mean, it would have it set up like... That sort of doesn't make any sense. But maybe that's okay in today's topsy-turvy world. Um, so we could have a storage room like... Here, or even here. And was there a room that we're missing that we need to put down? Let's take a look. Security? Uh, it doesn't need to be that big. The morgue definitely doesn't need to be that big. Um, well, the long and short of it is that I don't really know right now. But I think this is an okay planning. We could just make this one enormous storage room, but that seems like a little bit of a waste of uh, space. But hey, it might be right. And you know, the rooms will pay for themselves if we've done this appropriately. And we don't really need a hallway then if that's the case, do we? Ah, uh, it might be nice if we choose to expand over this way. So this might be a terribly inefficient way to handle this. But I think that's alright. We'll put like a metal detector here, so they can't get tools outside of the workshop. Alright, so let's actually build this now. So that'll be foundations stretching across like this. Uh, we'll... This is gonna be expensive, but we have the money right now, so I think it's a good idea to get our exports, uh, you know, underway before things get too crazy. And then we'll, uh, expand it like this. And we'll just let these guys build that out first before things get too crazy. But we'll get our electrical cables down as well. Might be best to install those, uh, you know, just after the foundation finishes so we can actually get this done uh, without them having substantial problems. So we have eight new prisoners arriving soon. This is fine. Really? You need to come in here and give off new clothes? Instigator still, huh? I still don't really know actually how you get... Um oh, there's new contraband. Club. I've never seen that before. Um... I don't know how you get controversial or um, confidential informants. It's probably something you have to research. Maybe let's check out bureaucracy quickly. We might as well research all of the bureaucracy that we have right now. Uh, well, this is all the bureaucracy we can research. We can queue up a bunch of it. I mean, these are going to take forever to get finished, but I mean, at least that means we don't have to look at it anytime soon. And again, we're kind of cash rich right now, so. 
It's not a major problem. So I think we can have a staff door, like, I don't want to install it on the road gate by accident, so I'll wait for these trucks to actually get out of the way. And the gate will close temporarily, and then we'll install a staff door here. Why a staff door? Uh, because, oh, okay, before we do this, because they could actually escape, we should install, like, a staff door here and here as well. Um, so that the only, um, like, prisoners can drop exports off, but only workmen can actually take them out into, like, the airlock area here. Okay, so we've got visitors and new prisoners. We've got one special prisoner as well. Paul Lindsay, four years for violent disorder. Nothing special there. Ooh, this guy's got some reputation that we don't know. James Jones, played Darth Vader. James Comrie, five years for assault. Alan Snowman the Doman Frost. We had a problem with Frosty the Snowman earlier. This is a new one, though. He is a baker gone bad. He has a soft spot for dough in all it forms. He may be half-baked, but anyone that annoys him is going to get burned. All right, interesting. Edward Henry, formerly a uh, hotel kitchen porter from England, was tried and extradited to a faraway land for repeatedly exposing himself to the Queen. You'd think, like, one time would be enough. Nine years for death by dangerous driving. Felis joins. Ed Creaser, two years for joyriding. Charles the Barbarian Pipping. Charles was convicted of killing four of his friends in a particularly immersed game of cellars. Wor Verms. Due to a bad charm roll, he failed to convince the jury of his innocence and subsequently failed to teleport to safety. He played the Barbarian. No special uh, prisoners here. By the way, there are... How did you walk in here, by the way? Um, but there are uh, special prisoners now called legendary prisoners that are extremely rare. But when they show up, uh, they're like really dangerous. Let's put it that way. I really want to get this built... So I'm actually just going to take this opportunity to, because they're so cheap, it's like $3 per tile. Um, I'm going to install like a fence all the way around this, just so when I actually demolish one of the walls, then um, the prisoners can't just escape. I could just wait for a day as well, but that's okay. So we're making 600 bucks a day. We're going to blow a lot of our uh, fat stacks here uh, just buying tools for our workshop, but that's okay, I think. And we're going to have an export. I think this is a much better setup for our workshop rather than having it in like the back half of the prison. Is it okay that there's no foundation built there? Do we have a job in progress for that? No, we don't. Okay. So I'm going to assume that there don't need to be bars there. And uh, we'll just make an entrance by demolishing a wall. Here. And hopefully that will be good enough to actually... Uh, get this foundation done, even though it looks like it's missing like a reinforcing girder or something. Oh, no, that's good enough. Okay. Uh, it also sort of didn't build enough walls, which it makes sense. It gets a little buggy sometimes when there's uh, fences in the way. So we'll just fill those in as needed. Okay, so this is going to be our workshop. Drag it across like this. And again, we're just going to have one kind of choke point metal detector. I'd rather, you know, it saves us a little bit of money and it keeps these entrances clear. We'll have a different choke point. Uh, here. So we'll just make sure that gets installed. And if we install it uh, here, there should already be infrastructure in place for wiring. And how are our prisoners doing? Seems pretty good. This guy is kind of freaking out here. Oh, he's exercising. That's it. <laughs> I watched that lower his uh, exercise stat. Yeah, you know, he's doing some calisthenics in the yard. I appreciate it. Okie dokie. So this is going to be a storage room. Let's think long and hard. That's not something I'm very good at, but uh, think long and hard about how we want this to work. I, I think it's okay to let prisoners have free access to this and not even have any doors, basically. Uh, but it will have it closed in just because it looks nicer. Because we have that metal detector here, that'll that'll make it all better, I think. Okay, so this is going to be a nice storage area for us. We could actually have that like lead out directly onto here and like just extend the fence out like so. Whatever, though. It's a long walk inside, but I don't know how much people end up using this room. We can always tweak that if we have to. So this is going to be a workshop. And we're going to install a lot of uh, objects in here. We want this to be a busy room. So there's uh, four workshop saws. And we'll do exactly the same setup here. That, and then we need... Uh, some carpenter's tables. And I think we need some actual tables as well. Man, these workshops are so expensive. We needed like an actual table? Yeah, you need a, a few actual tables. I think these are used for storage, so we'll put three of them down. 
All right, and we'll see how this uh, ends up working out. It is exceptionally expensive. We are making money though, so I feel all right about it. And we still have this room, which we're gonna use for a classroom down here, which we might as well get off the ground right away. So classroom, like, there's no reason not to educate people right off the bat because it takes forever for them to get it started anyway. All right, so this is gonna be uh, big enough. It actually looks kind of like a real classroom for the first time in my career here. Put like an office desk down like so, and a chair, and then an awful lot of school desks. Oh, not like that. Three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this will allow us to educate uh, 16 people at the same time. Let's make it an even uh, 19. Maybe not so even, but that's okay. And we'll put a just a regular door on this. And then we will also start our uh, foundation education program. Boom. All right. So again, financially, we're not in a great position. But my hope is that we'll have uh, some extra money being made via our workshop here. So we'll designate this as our exports area. And with a staff door, that should be fine. And then we can just put a regular door here. All right, disignore. Dis Ignore those sirens in the background. No problems there. Well, okay, maybe some problems, but not for us. Hopefully. Not that I wish ill will on other people. What's going on here? Um... Three prisoners to work in the kitchen. We still don't have three prisoners that can work in the kitchen. I think it's because our kitchen's too small, like I said earlier. Yeah. You know, the bigger the room, the the, the more uh, jobs you can fit in it, I think. This, oh man, because we installed this exports uh, door, this actually does give an easy route to get into the... Uh, to get into the storage room. So I think this is actually working out really nicely. So I don't have a whole lot of money to uh, to expand, but we are going to need to do that. Tax relief is still going here. It's just taking forever. And prisoners are being fed perfectly fine. Everybody's very happy. The problem is that we're not making very much money. And we're not going to make very much more money until we get more prisoners uh, installed here. If we expand our cells like this, well, we'll need to build foundation now like that. Yeah, it's going to become pretty expensive soon, so I might just let this go for another day as we let more prisoners come in. Uh, just to see how, uh, how much money we'll make, and maybe how much we'll make via exports as well. So our storage room should allow this to be set up more nicely, and that's good. What do we need for grants now? Are there any that we've accidentally completed? Well, we can start to get to work on governmental security ratings. Apart from that, um, well, prisoner manufacturing facility, once we complete uh, prisoner acclimatization, which we need three more prisoners to work in the kitchen. Of course we do. I'm trying to think about how I can do that. I can build like a small expansion or like a second kitchen up here. And then the canteen can expand as well, just in a different direction. But that kind of looks... Lame, in my opinion. Maybe as more and more people pass the uh, food safety class, I can assign them. But I think it is based on the kitchen size. It's just too small. Well, we'll see how this works. Do we really only have two people that are, like, in kitchen safety right now? That's sad. Rather than uh, risk having a power outage, we're just going to install three more capacitors here. Because we are getting pretty close to our maximum. And as these saws get worrying, I imagine we're going to end up... Uh, in trouble. So there are some logs here. Just sell the sell the logs right away. That gave us uh, 150 bucks. I shouldn't have to sell them manually. Like they should be able to be made into beds, but it might take a little while. For now though, I'm very pleased with the way this is being run. We have new prisoners arriving in uh, in 40 minutes. And oh, what did we get there? We just finished something. Not tax relief. That will be like our armory. And we can do governmental security ratings pretty easily, and it's worth money. So, how many more prisoners are arriving? Eight more are arriving soon. We can't actually afford to take them in yet, so we'll turn this off. And we'll see if there's any prisoners that have uh, some special reputations here. Well, there's some there's reputations we don't know. Here we go. An interesting one. Andrew Grant. Strong and deadly. This prisoner hits par harder with each punch during fights. This prisoner is a master in lethal combat moves and can sometimes kill with a single hit. That sounds... Pretty volatile for our prison. 
All right, this guy doesn't have any uh, anything special yet. Nothing special. Sentenced to six years for prostitution. Family none. All right, Corey Brown. You've been in jail since you were 20 years old. That is a little sad. Ryan Fellows. Ryan the Philosopher Fellow. Sorry. Wait, we actually uh, had this guy before. Ryan the Philosopher Fellows was convicted of theft. After all, but one book was found to be missing from a library he frequented nightly. Authorities confirmed suspicions when neighbors reported he was building a castle of books in his backyard. All right, Duncan Swadden. Nothing special, nothing special, nothing special, nothing special. But we do have a strong and deadly prisoner here, which is a little scary. And hey, look, our, uh, our visitors can apparently just walk over top of our fence to get into the visitation room. That's a little scary, but hey, everything's working out. Pretty nicely thus far. We're making a thousand bucks a day, which is money. But I'm really excited to see. It's, I think it starts at ten, which is very soon. Uh, I'm excited to see if our workshop starts allowing us to produce. Man, we really have not found any contraband yet. If our workshop starts allowing us to produce some exports. You know what? I forgot to schedule a uh, a program that would be appropriate for that. That's workshop safety. Get it going. Are they gonna walk in there immediately now that I've done it? Yeah, thank you. I uh, probably should have done that earlier, but that's okay. Now we've got people actually working uh, working it out here. We've got one prisoner working as a janitor. This is like a great prison right now. Only one prisoner's been released, so we don't have a grade yet. But I'd say his prisoner is working fantastically, if I do say so. Oh, where did you get those cigarettes? Probably from a, a, a visitor, if I had to guess. Hygiene is the problem here. Well, I mean, there's showers. I think it's just because they got off the truck and didn't have a chance to shower, and that'll probably work itself out by tomorrow. Do we make any money in exports today? Let's check out our finances quickly. No. Maybe tomorrow. It's alright, we can let this go for another day for sure. I, I really think we should build a small uh, kitchen expansion. I'll take a look at my programs quickly. Kitchen safety, one passed. Can we actually put more people in our kitchen now? No. We can put one prisoner in our kitchen. Uh, so, do we want to expand it like this? I think we want to expand it like this just because there's uh, already serving tables there. First off, let's uh, let's go back to materials and we'll demolish the uh, fences here. We just finished tax relief, I think, which should... It looks like it's saving us like $200 a day. Let me check that out. That, that would be a huge get for us. Yeah, our corporation taxes have halved. That saves us $200 a day. That's huge. Feels pretty good. I'm glad I researched that right off the bat. And we should be able to get this uh, $10,000 grant here for just expanding our, uh, our kitchen and making it uh, admittedly a lot larger. Prisoners are still being fed appropriately. I think it's bullshit that we can't fit three prisoners inside of this kitchen, but whatever. Please, no contraband. Good. All right. This seems to be a much more well-run ship than it was earlier. And maybe we actually want to put... Here's what I'm thinking. Why not put our second kitchen, like, up here? And we'll make it, like, this big, maybe. Which is bigger. Just to be sure. Uh, and the reason I would do it like this is because it allows our... Um, and we'll assign like maybe another staff door or something. Uh, but this this uh, allows us to expand the canteen in kind of like a T-shape. And I want a canteen that maybe is going to be as big as this T-shape is right now. Like as big as this L is here. But for now, we're basically just doing this to make more money in the future. Like this is not that big of a deal. But uh, it, it helps us complete the grant. Completing that grant will give us access to new grants and Hugh grants, and that'll be good for business. So we'll demolish this wall quickly, uh, and this will become a kitchen. It's going to be a long walk to get from, uh, you know, kitchen A to kitchen B, and even further to get to kitchen stadium, but that's okay. So utilities, electrical, cable like this, and like this, and we might as well, just for the future, run one like this as well. And for now, we're going to need... A cooker and a sink. You know the, the deal at this point. That sink is faced in the wrong direction. Uh, and a cooker, which is... I always get it confused. Uh, there's No, we don't want serving table. Cooker's here. 
And we can put a fridge right next to it. Everything in its right place. Pipes don't even come close to getting all the way up here. So we'll build a large pipe out through this wall. Could be useful for the future. And a small pipe across like this. Alrighty. And we should designate this as a kitchen. And we definitely want to put a staff door on it as well. I know it's stupid to have our biggest kitchen this far away. But at the same time, it would be stupid to not build it for like $4,000 and then get a free $5,000 grant. So kitchen is green. Like so. And we'll hire another two cooks to work in it, even though we don't need them right now. And we'll put another couple of trash bags in here as well, or trash cans. Just so they can get some work done. And this kitchen is good to go now. And if we go to jobs, max jobs five. One, two, there you go. <laughs> we completed our grant, and that gives us access to yet another grant here. If I go to reports, grants, uh, that allows us to do... Which one did that allow us to do? Prison manufacturing? Yeah, that was the one I wanted. Okay, so we'll get that knocked out. Okay. So I want to let this go for one more day here, even though we're getting dangerously close to the NLSS start time for me, because I want to see if we do end up getting any exports. What, is this the heaviest thing of all time? Go rest in a freaking staff room, dog! There's one right here! You shouldn't be exhausted. Yeah, you're tired? Go to the staff room. It's the easiest thing in the world. So our prisoners are fine. Danger level is low. Our kitchen still isn't uh, functioning here. Because we didn't actually build pipes. Yeah, we didn't actually build pipes that connect to the large pipe. Is this one? Yeah, it's built. Okay. This is fine. It is taking them forever to walk this stuff into the into the canteen. But I don't think that's really that big of a deal right now because we're going to be expanding the canteen soon anyway. So for now, they're. I mean, it is taking them a while to walk, but it's not like the prisoners are actually doing anything seriously build the pipes dog the jobs are cued man is it because they're exhausted I mean they're tired there is a staff room you can rest in it's not like I'm just being a total asshole here so we've uncued those and then we'll go small pipe like this, maybe, and see if that works out a little bit better. I mean, they do have something to do. They're just not doing it. Our prisoners are better workmen at this point. So we, we had some people working there. They've got another hour to go. Is our classroom occupied? Yeah, we got some people learning. Again, we're not going to take the education grant. Ah, oh, they did build the pipes. Good. Just because I feel like it's not necessarily uh, a prudent use of our uh, resources. We can have that grant open for something else instead. So we haven't produced any license plates. But uh, let's look at finance. No exports yet. That's okay. That's okay. We're still making money. We didn't really expand our prison at all during our... Um, sell object. Uh, during our episode here. But let's take this opportunity. We'll wait till they finish eating. What comes after eating on our regime? Uh, probably free time. Yard. And we're going to do a shakedown. I just want to see if there's anything uh, shady going on here. I want to make sure that they know uh, what's up and that, uh, you know, we're taking a good look at all this stuff here. And the prison's relatively small, so it should be finished pretty quickly. And they're going to be, you know, perturbed by the fact that they're being searched. But at the same time, you can't have a knife. You can't have a knife in my prison. What the hell was that even? A club? You can't have clubs in my prison. That's going to be terrible for business. Yeah, danger level is increasing. That makes sense. We got a, a few things left to search, but as of right now, we just got, uh, well, it's ten people awaiting solitary. Maybe we should build more just for this exact situation. We found a lot of drugs. Well, a few drugs, a lot of booze. Some medicine. Eh, I think maybe we should give them the right to have medicine. If I, uh, if I have my say in the matter. 137 searched. Uh, we just have, like, food on the trucks left to search. And hey, there's the shakedown. We actually completed a shakedown. So there are a lot of people awaiting solitary confinement, but hey, that'll suppress them a little bit, and I think that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. This prison's going very well, I think, thus far. But on the next one, we are going to expand. We'll probably buy this and then expand the cell block downwards, even though it's very expensive. Uh, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, 
Sincerely, first off, thanks for the incredible support you've showed the series in Season 1 and now Season 2. Uh, but continue to show your support if you're enjoying the episodes. Click the like button, helps out a great deal, and of course subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.